What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing another Black Desert online video, and today we're taking a look at the patch notes for June 8th, the big news, we've got the Arena of Solar out, it is, while I'm recording this, actually now live in EU, because there are certain queue times, um, so we'll talk about a couple things I've seen, watching some other streams from the EU players, as I'm on NA, and have not yet get to try it out, uh, but let's go ahead and jump into that, and then we'll take a look at events and other things going on first. So, if you've been living under a rock as far as the BDO community is concerned over the last six months or so, um, then you may not be aware of the new Arena of Solar. We have the preseason introduced beginning today. It's the first ever 3v3 PvP arena in Black Desert where all players battle for victory with equalized gear. We'll later let you know future plans for this content little by little. Hope you can start enjoying PvP in Black Desert from today as you battle freely. So we've got the preseason started. As they said, it's a 3v3 arena. Um, you can participate in it once you're level 16. You've completed the Succession and Awakening quest line. You start the arena Solaric uh, with exclusive gear, and you can unlock other pieces of gear to equip as you progress. You're either going to gain or lose points depending on the match results, and you'll get emblems uh, depending on your score for that. Um, you can use the Find Match, Set Gear, and History options of it by going to the menu, which is Escape, and then in the War menu for that to pull it up. And then you see you get little buttons here, Find Match, and then Set Gear, depending on what you're trying to do. Uh, so how you're going to participate, you're going to take that level 60 character that's completed the Succession Awakening quest line. You're going to press the Find Match button, and it's going to auto-match from there. You'll automatically enter the battlefield if all six uh, participants accept after matching is complete, and you can only start matching after equipping the exclusive gear. Uh, also keep in mind uh, that you cannot queue up with friends. This is going to be solo queue only, at least for now. Um, set gear, adjust your exclusive gear loadout with the set gear feature. Uh, what it looks like, you can kind of just get a feel for it here. So you pick what gear you have. You can see some are locked as you need to unlock them uh, through other things, uh, through uh, winning or losing or getting more points and then using your emblems to unlock them. You can set your crystals uh, for this gear and it's used just within this arena uh, only. You can see you do have some evasion or accuracy type options and things like that. It's a little more complicated as far as how it's going to interact, which they'll kind of explain here as we look at the rules. So uh, it's going to be best three out of five as far as the matches are. You'll get a maximum of three minutes per round. Team with higher HP, and when that time ends, is the winner. If HP is the same, the team with the higher total damage wins, and the match will conclude in a tie if the total HP and damage of it are exactly the same. In the arena, you will not be, uh, not only will be provided with exclusive gear, uh, but you also cannot use potions, meals, elixirs, etc. The effects of certain skills will also be adjusted. So the stats of the exclusive gear will be applied instead of the stats of the gear you're currently equipped to your character, obviously. Uh, you cannot use any type of potions. However, your character's default HP, MP, w, WP, SP recovery will greatly increase. And it's actually, it's weird that they bothered mentioning that. Um, the amount naturally recovered within the Arena of Solar will be similar to the recovery amount you get from using Ornette or Odor Spirit Essences with a fairy that's acquired the skill Miraculous Cheer 5. They could have just said that instead of like, it will greatly increase, is a little awkward. Uh, using skills that recover HP within the Arena Solar Battlefield will recover only half the amount normally recovered. Now, because I've seen some uh, EU matches uh, being streamed already since they've got it open, I can tell you, at this current moment of recording, uh, healing is bugged. It's actually RNG. Maybe you get healed, maybe you don't, as far as your, your potions are, and that includes all types of healing. So if your class uh, has a healing skill, I mean, I played DK, so I wouldn't know what that's like. Um, if your class has a healing skill, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. People are straight up like, it seems to not work very often, um, and the healing sometimes does. It's not great, but we'll see uh, how quickly they can get in there and get that fixed. Um, anyways, in the arena, the guard gauge, uh, a defensive feature of all classes, will be equalized across classes. In case you know, not, our, not all guards are created equal, but they will be in this. Uh, AP, damage reduction, accuracy, and evasion stats will be halved for all characters. The remaining time for the effects of meals, elixirs, and perfumes will not be wasted. So any of the buffs that you had up prior to that are going to be there when you get back out of it. Uh, it doesn't specify, like, tent buff, but it, I'm pretty positive it's going to be included with that. The stats for your character's max HP will increase by 2,000, and your character's critical hit rate, attack, and casting speed, and movement speed will be at level 5. So you don't have to worry about socketing crystals for that like you would in, say, um, um, the uh, arena previous arena that we've had upon entering the battlefield the black spirit rage hp mp sp wp cooldown and other supplementary resources will be recovered the emergency escape will reset each round so your v is going to be reset between each round which is nice uh the trace of elements buff for skills exclusive here in the battlefield will only apply in the arena and the total family bonus from adventure journals will not be applied i did see that pop up a lot uh, recently about people asking so any of your journals not going to be in there if you're just interested in pvping only in this arena type thing don't have to worry about your journals ever 
So we've got three different battlefields for it. Uh, we have Allen's Valley. It, you can't actually pick which one. It's going to be randomized, which one you get sent into. Allen's Valley is a straight up 3v3. It literally is like this spacing right here. Uh, and it's just, that's all there is to it. Your team versus their team, and you go for it. We have the Ruins of Zol. Uh, so this one has these spheres. I thought they were pictures. They have these spheres that are around. Um, and they do different attacks depending on what they light up. The red spheres you can see here does uh, damage to targets within the area. Uh, the blue one's going to give you a debuff that has no guard gauge recovery for 10 seconds. Uh, and then the green one heals HP recovery if it's working <laughs> at the time uh, of things that get hit by it. Then we have a black sphere that does an AoE where it pulls you in and applies a DP um, reduction on top of you as well. Um, so, yeah. Then you also have the traces of elements that spawns in Trace of Elements spawns in many spots around the battlefield and performs attacks upon destroying them. You can obtain boons from each of the elements. You and your party members can receive the effects of the elemental boons except for Wind Song. And, and we'll see Wind Song. It's it's for the one player only, not your whole team. So if you see Fiora's Breath, you get that. It's going to be recover. You recover HP. If you get uh, Water's Chill, all DP plus uh, DP increase for 30 seconds. Fire's Warmth give you AP for 30 seconds. Um, and then the wind song, which won't apply to the whole team, it's just going to be that that particular member. You'll get all AP and attack and cast speed increase for 30 seconds, so kind of like a Z buff, uh, just applied on top of you there uh, for the one, not the entire team. The third arena that you have is Araha Palm Forest, Areha Palm Forest. A little more straightforward, uh, 3v3, not quite like Olin's Valley because it's a 3v3, but you're also going to have those elemental traces, Flora's Breath and Wind Song that show up, uh, not the OP one. So it'll be a 3v3, but you'll also be able to get um, the recovery HP. Oh, we have Wind Song as well. <laughs> uh, it, it, it does have a good one. My bad. It's got recovery HP and then it um, and then has the uh, essentially the Z buff. Again, doesn't apply to all of your party members. Other than that, um, straight up 3v3. Uh, from there. So your points are going to fluctuate depending on how you perform. Obviously, you'll be awarded an emblem of Solaire based on your point bracket. Everyone's going to start at 1150 points and you earn points for every win and loss uh, and loss, lose points for every loss, obviously. You can uh, earn more points the longer you maintain a win streak. As you rank up, you'll get higher and higher um, amounts of points if you continue to win in a row. There is a deserter pen penalty on it. It doesn't actually specify exactly what it's going to be uh, right here, but it does say there is a deserter penalty, so you will get one if you don't re-enter the match. If you disconnect or something like that and you re-enter um, and then you lose, you still get the lost points, and if you re-enter and you win, you still get the victory points for it, so there's no penalty for that, but if you uh, don't re-enter the match at all, with it, there's going to be a penalty of some sort that's not on there. As far as the timing, you have to check the chart to see what it is for you. As I said, it's going, it's currently live in EU times for me. I'm on the East Coast in NA, so 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. for me. If you are in Pacific time, uh, NA, that's 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. for you. So there you go. Something about the fine match for it says unavailable outside of the time of the above time frame. So like, it makes sense that you're not going to be able to do it all the time because they don't want it to die out, right? entirely you need when people are on um like for instance when servers first come up uh 8 a.m for me there's almost nobody on if the arena of solar were on the whole time you would have like nobody that you'd ever queue with currently it's taking a very long time it looks like for eu players to queue and i expect that'll be the same for na and the reason for that is there's only so many um i guess we can call them servers there's servers there's only so many uh pvp arenas to be put in so if you have you know, hundreds and hundreds of people trying to get into it. It's taking that long for each match to finish and then rotate people into it. So I've seen anything from 10 to 15 minute uh, wait times to actually get into one that will likely smooth out over time as we see it. But obviously it being launched, you're going to kind of have to just deal with it for now. And honestly, the healing thing being RNG is sort of game breaking at the moment. So hopefully we get some adjustments uh, to that very quickly, uh, like in a patch done like right away. But we'll see. Next up, we have the Liana's tool bag, which we saw announced in the uh, KR release video and talked about a bit on the Global Labs for it. Um, the Liana tool bag is going to help adventurers who enjoy gathering to manage your inventories and gathering tools. Tool bag holds one of each type of gathering tool. You can press either F5 or 6 uh, or score your mouse wheel to conveniently engage in each type of gathering activity by equipping the tool bag. Many of our adventurers have been uh, wanting this for a while and we also have been waiting to develop it. Uh, wanting to develop it, sorry, which is why it's such a pleasure to finally present this item to our adventurers with this week's update. We recommend you fill up your energy before proceeding with the quest to obtain uh, Liana's tool bag as you'll need to pass a trivia quiz. And I believe it's like 100 uh, points, even if you, you get it all right. But this is going to make your life a lot easier. If you life skill, and you need to swap between one or the other by keeping them in your bag, just like it shows there. And like they said, F5 or F6 to rotate or just scroll your mouse wheel uh, to rotate through which item you're trying to use. 
All right, moving on to events. We have Beat the Heat with Playtime Challenge event. Uh, you just play time challenge. You log in for X amount of time. Each day you get free stuff. We know how this works. Celebrating the Arena Solar event has started. They've actually got some pretty solid rewards for this. So even if you're not super interested in this, you may want to get into it at least a little bit uh, during this event period. Um, you'll see some uh, once per family type things that you can do with some artisans. It's got a pet in there, Shudad's Courier. It's Cronstones, 500 Cronstones you can pick up. There's a daily quest to pick up some extra seals. Um, uh, for you there and then uh, you also have a weekly quest with an additional 10 seals and then when you have enough seals 60 you can swap that out for 130 stack which is going to be pretty helpful you've also got some other options with some uh, some gold bars there to get it some silver ancient spirit dust or enhancing materials as well but uh, yeah that 130 stack is not too shabby to pick up there so I'd highly recommend at least jumping in a little bit to try and get that we also got a refresh on the new and returning adventure login rewards they're giving out tons of free stuff to come back to the game or first try the game we know the drill with this uh, content updates. We're going to see a lot of UI updates. Uh, one of the one that's most notably is you'll now see these background uh, colors on each of the item, and it's based on what uh, what grade the item is. So green items now look like this with the green background. A yellow item now is yellow on it, blue with blue, uh, and then red like your black stars and stuff. We'll have that. Bell's heart also uh, has that, has that as well. So you're going to see that on there if you notice. Hey, something's definitely different. That's what it is. Uh, we've got the new cup added into the game for earrings, which we haven't had before. These are obtained by getting a hundred of the yellow shards uh, from the Elvia zones, 50 of the blue ones, 50 of the red ones, 100 weapon stones, and 30 magical shards. You heat those bad boys up, and you get the Cup of Earth Sorrows, which is all AP plus 3. Not super amazing, but a little something bonus. You can pick up an extra 6 hidden AP that way. At this time, there's no other options for cups uh, for earrings. We don't know if there's going to be. So is there going to be an HP one? Is there going to be DR? Is there going to be any other stat? Maybe, but at this time, there's not. So all you got is your, your uh, Earth Sorrows for a little extra AP, which honestly is a little lackluster. Uh, they did go ahead and increase the maximum price of Pen Black Star Main Awakening and sub weapons to 200 billion silver. So, uh, yeah, those are going to go up, and I don't think anybody's going to sell any until they decide to jump it up. And then also to tie in with that, they've actually locked the cost of tagging Pen Black Star gear. It's going to be fixed at 150 of the Marnie's Fuel, meaning it's 1.5 billion, uh, which correlates to the uh, most recent change of it still being at 100 billion. It would cost you 150 Marnie's Fuel to tag. It's still going to stay that way, despite the fact that the price of it is increasing. Um, next, we have a change to this one I didn't see coming. The cups that are already in the game, it does not list the new one in this, but apparently these cups are now, the price of them is being uh, increased by 2 billion silver. They were previously 1 billion, so if it's increased by 2 billion, apparently the cups are now worth 3 billion silver. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. I don't know if that, like, juices orcs up big time uh, making getting the red shards to make cups out of these or not, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's nothing to scoff at for sure. Uh, Monster just had uh, sealed black magic crystals added to some uh, some of the grind spot zones that didn't have them previously, like Cowdry and things like that. With a couple of uh, quest teaks, you're going to see some other UI updates um, that were in there. Like for instance, you'll if you open up your campsite if you have it, and your villa buff that's got a whole new UI that's showing as well. And then we also have two of these like class setup uh, quests that exist: Kakuo's Pow Doodle class quest for Corsair, and then the Nova has one also. It's to get like housing stuff, is whatever. But the King's Key quest line that's existed for a very long, over a year and a half now, uh, they're actually going to use it and it's going to get you furniture stuff too. Uh, so that if you want to do that for your Nova, um, you can. It's it's in that now. We, we had to wait an, a year and a half for that to happen, so whatever. If you got rid of it, you can talk to the Black Spirit and you can get the item again. I'll probably never do it because I don't care. Here's the Villa Scroll, scroll uh, UI update. You're seeing pretty nice. A uh, little upgrade there. And other than that, we know the drill from our regular issue fixes and whatnot. So let's take a look at the Pearl Shop this week and see what we've got going on. First up, we've got this new outfit here, the Asa Cerberi uh, for the Warrior. That thing looks absolutely sick. Really, really like that. It's, of course, 3,400 pearls for the premium version of that. If you want to pick it up, we've got the Tiger Emissary Outfit set available. It's kind of whatever. 2,200 pearls if you want that one. Ethereum Marine comes around every so often, and it is back. It's 2,900 pearls to pick up the Classic, or just the outfit set is 2,200. We've got the Termine outfit set, which also comes around from time to time. There, you can pick up the whole set for 2200 or split up the helmet armor if you choose to. It also exists for Shy because that's a thing. And we've, of course, got Ephiria Marine underwear and boxer briefs to go along with those. And some packages here. So we've got a Quadra premium outfit pack, which is four outfits for 9110 pearls and then 10 item drop scrolls, as well as a 60 stack added on top there. Then we've got an all in one pack available once per family 2305 pearls that gets you a seven day value pack, a classic outfit box, 50 
artisans, 50 crons, and then two item drop scrolls. We have the enhanced secret book of old moon. It's 1125 pearls gives you a 15 day book of old moon. And then you're also going to get 10 item drop scrolls and three blessed message scroll. We've got the triple ghost fee for 3,300 pearls gets you three of those bad boys with a little bit of food to go with it. Triple maids and butlers packs 2,400 pearls. You get three for the price of one is that you'll also get three item drop scrolls to go with it. And we have the adventure support box, which is 150 uh, pearls. It's got two inventory expansion coupons, two item drop scrolls, one 300% XP scroll, one 20 stack, and two Valks cries, kind of whatever. Then we have this special thank you pack. It's for one loyalty. There's a series of these, but please note on each of these, the uh, kind of tagline here um, that goes along with this, right? So the thank you pack is one loyalty. The thank you level one, it's two Elyon's Blessing and two max HP increase scrolls. However, in order to purchase this, you won't even see it until you've spent 5,000 pearls during the month of June. So you won't be able to pick it up until you do that. The thank you pack two, uh, is not going to be available until you've spent 10,000 pearls. It's got it's a crystal extraction tool and an inventory plus four expansion. And the thank you pack three, which is actually a very good one. Unfortunately, you need to spend 30,000 pearls in the month of June to get there uh, for one loyalty. Also, it's got the mystery outfit box and a 30% discount coupon. If you're wondering what the 30% uh, uh, excuse me, not in wonder what the 30% discount coupon is. If you're wondering where the mystery outfit box is, uh, it's an RNG box that has a 75% chance to not give you an outfit. Uh, that's 40% to get 250 crons, 35% to get uh, 35 artisan memories. And then aside from that, you can get uh, okay ish rates for some of these other outfit uh, spots. And there's a very tiny, tiny chance you can get 10 premium outfit boxes uh, out of that RNG item. For one loyalty, it's not bad, but uh, the 30,000 pearl uh, pay well for it is not amazing. I also think it's the first time they've ever done that when we've seen spending X amount of pearls before they just kind of give you bonus stuff as a thank you, which I guess is there, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about seeing that. And especially with a 30,000 pearl price tag. Anyways, uh, if you spend 5,000 pearls within it, you can then spend 650 more to get one of those mystery outfit boxes. You can do that once per family, uh, unless you're in uh, Belgium or the Netherlands. So there's that. Also, the 10,000. If you spend 10,000 pearls, then you get to spend another 5,000 pearls and you can get 10 of the Mystical Artisan bundles, uh, which gives you an RNG amount of hopefully artisans, but also does have a chance for crons and memory fragments as well. So watch out for that. Then we've got the premium outfit box times six. It's 10,200 pearls. This one's only available if you've already spent 30,000 pearls and you get six premium outfit boxes because is what it is man 27 20 pearls is the weekly outfit on sale for the blue tiger outfit that is for the musa so if you want to try and pick one up and maybe melt some costumes down for crons that might be a good bet to go with so there you have it this week for the patch notes and pearl shop let me know what you guys think about the stuff going on in the comments down below if you did enjoy the video be sure to like it if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so you get notifications when new videos do go live and if you'd like to catch me playing live there's a link to my twitch page in the description down below you can jump on over there drop a follow so you get notifications for that as well with that said that's going to be it for this one I want to thank everybody for watching and i will see you next time